Let's talk about lies, propaganda, the sky is green theory. You've heard me talk about this before on the show. Let's give you another update on exactly what it is, because I know we have a bunch of new viewers out there. And if we do, well, I know we do. Welcome to all you new ones. But I have this theory. It's really ham-fisted, I'm just warning you, but surprisingly accurate. If the system wanted you to believe the sky is green, they could be successful. Maybe not you personally, but if they wanted enough people to believe it. Now, societies, to understand this, you have to understand the system. Societies, all societies, they're all built on pillars, every single one of them. And that means your religion, this is the major religion of your society, that's a pillar. The education system is a pillar. The government's a, a pillar. The entertainment's a pillar. Pillars of society, that's what holds up your nation, your culture, whatever it is. They're supposed to be separate pillars. The separation of them helps all of us because they keep each other in check. So if the media lies about something, if the media pillar is out there lying, then entertainment steps up and says, no, that's a lie, easily disproven. The education system steps up and says, no, that's a lie. But when you get to a late stage republic, which we are after all the communist onslaught for years, all the pillars, they now have figured something out. Hey, let's just work together. If we work together, we can get a lot of people to believe whatever we want. We can loot the treasury without many people noticing. If we work together, we can enrich ourselves while screwing over the peasants. Which brings us to the sky is green theory. It's very, very powerful. Propaganda is powerful. And when you control what goes in people's eyes and ears, that is extremely powerful. So if the system decided they wanted you to believe the sky is green, or society, enough people to believe the sky is green, that sounds crazy. You'd never believe that because you can look up with your eyes and see it's blue. It's right there. That's a blue sky. You can see it. But if all of a sudden on every news show there was a new scientific expert out there explaining why your eyes were deceiving you and it's green, it's always been green. You go to the latest Hollywood blockbuster movie and they actually have colored the sky green in the movie. You're a child, and from the earliest stage in science class, you learn to trust the science, that that sky is actually green, your eyes are deceiving you, it's green. The president would be talking about it being green, your favorite actor or athlete would have an Instagram video up, oh my gosh, the sky's green, no way, go see my new film, buy my Nikes. Only, not only that, once the contagion catches on, you saw this during COVID, people will begin spreading this misinformation to each other, just the normal people. Because your liberal Aunt Peggy, of course, now believes it, and she thinks you're some kind of heretic if you don't believe it, so she'll start screaming at you on Facebook, why are you such a stupid Republican? Over and over and over and over again, and soon you will have half a nation believing something that their own eyes tell them is a lie. You see this now, and once you see it, you can't unsee it. This country has been flooded with illegal immigrants since Joe Biden took over. He basically invited them to the border. It has been the goal of the communists to overwhelm our system with illegal immigrants for the longest time. And so as soon as they take over, they open up the border on purpose. It's not an accident. It's not a whoopsie. It's not a, oh, no, the border's open. This is all being done intentionally to destroy America. And we know the illegal immigration numbers are staggering. And yet, when you own the system, when you own every one of those pillars, you can get up to the podium and say things like this without a worry in the world. When it comes to illegal migration, you've seen it come down uh, by more than 90 percent. And that's because of this act, the actions that this president has taken. Um, what? Now, everyone knows that's a lie. Well, I should I take that back. You know, that's a lie. I know that's a lie. That lie will be parroted, though, by the other cultural pillars, and enough people will believe it. They lie about everything. We just had the second largest bank seizure in American history. That is a monumental big deal. They took this First Republic Bank, the Fed seized it, and then sold its gutted carcass to J.P. Morgan. And the president gets up and says things like this. Regulators have taken action to facilitate the sale 
of First Republic Bank and ensure that all depositors are protected and the taxpayers are not on the hook. These actions are going to make sure that the banking system is safe and sound. The banking system is safe and sound? Let me see if I have all this right. We have First Republic Bank, Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank. That's already a 3B. The banking system is not safe and sound. And now what do we know? We know that the Federal Reserve is going to meet this week. And what are they going to meet to discuss? They're going to discuss how much higher they need to jack interest rates. They're going to jack interest rates up even more, further constricting the economy. Talk about trouble. We are in serious trouble. Have you seen the announcements, the employee announcements from major corporations? It's always an indicator because here's what happens. These major corporations, they're always meeting. They're always having these meetings with projections and sales projections and profit projections. This is where we're going to be and this is where we're going to be here and we're going to be here. When you see major corporations all cutting jobs by the thousand, what you're seeing is the result of a bunch of corporate board meetings where they all got together and they decided it's going to be a very, very rough year, maybe some rough years, and it's time to start trimming what they consider to be fat. So any employee that isn't absolutely essential gets the snip. We are not safe. We are not okay. Something's going wrong. Oh, and did I mention there's a debt ceiling fight going on? Speaker of the House, the default on the national debt is off the table. For over 200 years, America has never, ever, ever failed to pay its debt. To put in the capital and, and colloquial terms, America is not a deadbeat nation. We have never, ever failed to meet the debt. Now, as a result, we're one of the most respected nations of the world. We pay our bills, and we should do so without reckless hostage taking from some of the mega Republicans in Congress. We have a debt ceiling fight that is very real. The people I talk to in Congress, the congressmen I know, tell me it is real and tell me there's probably going to be a showdown about this whole thing. Of course, the system is going to lie to you about it the entire time. They'll make Republicans out to be the bad guys, but this is going to be a problem. And through it all, through all the failure, they're simply going to keep lying and lying and lying and lying without end because we now have a system where they can convince large quantities of the population that the sky is in fact green.